Your USP can mean the difference between success and failure in online video marketing. Welcome to Online Video Marketing with host Pat Altfader. Are you wondering what USP stands for? It's your unique selling proposition, how you separate yourself from your competitors. Although USP is typically applied to your business overall, it carries over to everything you do, especially content creation like video. If you create content that stands apart from the crowd because you incorporate your USP, your fans will gladly spread the word about your videos because they enjoy and look forward to them. On the other hand, if you don't develop an effective USP, building an audience for your videos will be a constant struggle. I believe that there are two steps that are key related to USP and content videos. First, you need to know what your USP is which is what I'm going to cover today, and then you need to figure out how to portray it in your videos, which we'll discuss in our next episode. To find your USP, think about it from your prospect's point of view. With 72 hours of video being uploaded to YouTube every minute, you have to answer your prospect's question. Why should I watch your video series? Here are three reasons why. Your personality. If you're running a small business, sometimes your personality alone can be a powerful differentiator between you and your competition. After all, no one can compete with you or your personality because there's only one of you. Number two, you understand them. If you narrow your target audience so you can speak directly to their problems and challenges and you know their emotional needs and what they crave because you've experienced it yourself, the more likely it is that you'll grow a large following. Narrow target, large following. For example, a business coach, instead of saying their target audience is women small business owners who live within 25 miles, instead they might narrow it to women small business owners over 50 years of age within 25 miles who have experienced domestic violence. As I said, this works particularly well when the coach fits the same criteria because the coach really does truly understand them. And number three, finally, you solve their exact problem. You can also specialize specifically in one particular aspect of your overall topic. Instead of being a social media expert, you might specialize in helping small business owners use Facebook ads to grow their business. When creating a USP, we need to remember that we are not trying to appeal to everyone. Most entrepreneurs I know, including me, <laughs> know this concept intellectually, but hate to implement it because we don't want to limit ourselves. But the truth is, when a viewer thinks to themselves, this person really gets me, that's when you get a fan that will come back again and again. But when you try to please everyone, you end up pleasing no one. The goal of your USP will be to connect more strongly with some people and not so much with others. This is what you want, because when you connect strongly with a smaller audience, your influence will spread much more quickly. To download a USP creation worksheet, click on the link that goes along with this episode. I'll see you next time when we talk about how to incorporate your USP into your videos. For more great information, visit Pat's website at afpmarketing.com. Don't forget to browse the other shows found right here on this Biz TV Shows Network.